everyone, it's Gidu, and in this video I'm going to be doing a review for the Oival Upgraded Adjustable Grip Stand for the Nintendo Switch. This is actually the second time I am filming this. The visuals somehow got corrupted when I filmed this last, so I unfortunately lost that video. The audio was fine, but for some reason there was absolutely no picture and... I was very upset and it was super late at night, so I went to bed. Here's what the box looks like here. It does come with these thumb grips right here, so you can use those if you so like. I am personally not a huge fan. So what's cool about this grip is, like the Satisfy grip, it has asymmetrical design. And as you can see here, it also holds five games in the back of it. And it has a stand and it's an adjustable stand as well so that is the box here it also shows a little bit more there and just some extra info so here is the grip itself here's the back i'm actually going to compare it to the original satisfy grip that is right here and i'll let you guys know which one i prefer and what things i would maybe like this one to adopt in the future so one thing i really do like about this grip here it's only like $20 or $21 Canadian, where the Satisfy Grip with the case, which I originally bought, I believe cost me like 80 some dollars. And I really wanted a different grip because the Satisfy Grip did not do it for me. So I found this one online. It is actually a fairly new grip. They do have one for the Switch Lite, if you were interested in an asymmetrical design for the Switch Lite. I know Satisfy also has one, but these are just far more affordable if you can't quite justify picking up a Satisfy grip, especially if you are international, as I am in Canada and Satisfy is from the States. So one great thing about this is it's got these rubber grips here to keep your Switch um, gripped properly, but also not scraping along this that much. Although, if you are worried about scraping, I'd mostly worry about the front here. Anyways, let's talk about the pros first. This guy here fits the switch great with skins, which makes me very happy because, um, the thing with the Satisfy Grip is it doesn't fit very well with skins, like it's too, too tight. But this here, as you can see, the asymmetrical design, this guy right here sits out at more of an angle so that your thumb sits on the right joystick a lot better without being cramped. Um, and as, as you could see, when I hold my switch normally, you can see how my thumb sits in like a really weird angle. So I'm quite cramped. So whenever I'm trying to aim in games, I find it very annoying and I just don't have the same control with my thumb being in this position than I do when it's sitting like properly. So sliding this back in here, as you can see, slides in great. It does have a little bit of like, like it'll slide a little. Not much, <laughs> but it can slide a little, which is why they do have this thing up here so you can clip this down on the top and then you have a secure grip for the switch and again you have these kind of curved as they call them ergonomic handles to make it feel more like a pro controller but this here is just plastic so that is something to keep in mind it's not um, a rubber grip or anything and these are the game slots right here, which I will show you in a moment. But this is more or less how the grip works. What I really like about this grip though, is that this is still at an angle. So I still get that nice angle with my thumb, but at the same time, it's not too big for my hands. I have fairly small hands and I find that the Satisfy Grip is a little too large for them. And my hands actually start to cramp up quite a bit when I use the Satisfy Grip. Or this one, I've noticed it's a lot more comfortable just to sit and hold and not have to worry about like holding these gigantic grips that my, like I said, my hands just start to cramp up. So that's something I really do like about this. And the fact that it fits with skins is great because of course, as you can see, I have skins on my Switch. And then you have this lovely feature here. So this is a stand. I personally don't use the grip closed like this on my Switch because it does leave indents in my skins here where it's sitting and I'm not a big fan of that. So it's not really a big deal though because I can normally just have it kind of there and it doesn't really get in the way when I'm playing or anything. And because I'm not holding the Switch upside down, my Switch isn't going to fall out. So it's not really that big of a concern. This does have a little rubber pad 
here so you can use it as a stand for your switch but the great part about this especially in comparison to the satisfy is that you can change the angle so it's completely adjustable and you can almost go flat not that you necessarily want it to go flat but if you are playing in tabletop mode which this does actually show that you can play in tabletop mode like this by just sliding out your joy cons And then you can just play like this in tabletop mode. I don't really play my Switch in tabletop mode that much, but for people that do, like it's a nice little extra stand, it gives you different angles where the, the stand on the Switch itself, it's, it's, not, it's not the best kickstand. And they just slide back on in super easily. And again, you're still getting this nice angled grip at a much cheaper cost than Satisfy. So I definitely, definitely have to recommend this thing. Like, if you're looking for a grip that is very similar to Satisfy, um, take a look at this one. Uh, this is definitely not sponsored or anything. I just really wanted a different grip than the Satisfy one because I wasn't very satisfied. <laughs> so I wanted to find another one, and this recently came out. Now on to some of the dislikes I do have on it. They're mostly minor dislikes and minor gripes I have with it and maybe a few things I would like them to add. So personally, I do find that despite the fact it does fit skins, like a switch with skins in it much better than the Satisfy Grip does, it still does leave these kind of, I don't know if you can actually see on the camera, but it does leave indentations on both sides. And when I filmed this last, I actually ended up damaging the skin right here. I somehow pulled on it and it made it like rippled unfortunately. Not the end of the world, of course, and I don't know which grip did it, whether it was this one or the Satisfy. I, I literally don't know. I noticed this like a day later and I was like, shit. You will get some indentation on the bottom here from this part of the grip and then on the top as well. And I can't tell if you can see on the camera right now, but that's something to keep in mind. If you do have switch skins, they could get damaged, but if you still want a grip, I feel like any grip is going to end up damaging the skins in some capacity, but this does less damage than the Satisfy Grip does. This could potentially be irritating to some people. Personally, I have no issue with it. Again, like I said, if you don't want to keep this on because you're worried about the indentation, you don't necessarily have to. You can literally just slide it like that and it doesn't touch the switch at all, but it also doesn't really get in the way. So definitely just do that if this is an issue for you. I would like to see in the future maybe them figuring out a way so that it doesn't leave marks on your switch. And I did hear from somebody else that sometimes this here and the edges can leave black marks on your Nintendo Switch. I'm sure if you have the gray Joy-Cons it wouldn't be a big issue. And with skins I haven't really noticed any gray or black marks on the switch itself from this. I haven't had any personal experience, but again, keep that in mind if that is a thing. One thing I would like to see them add is this here is just a plastic. As you can see, they did try to add a little bit of texture to it, but it's it's so non-existent and it's so smooth that it there really isn't grip in that sense. These here hold games quite well. They just slip in like that and they do not fall out. As you can see, they don't come out, but they're not in there super, super tight either. So you can just slip them out super easily when you want to. So that's really cool. I probably won't personally be putting any games in here just because I don't like the idea of my games being exposed to the elements, if that makes sense. But for somebody who likes to keep their games on them and maybe doesn't want to bring a whole case and they're just bringing their Switch and the grip itself, this is a really good way to have a few extra games to bring with you. And now for the comparison with the Satisfy Grip. I'm sure you've seen these around everywhere. What I really do like about the Satisfy Grip is that it has this lovely like rubbery TPU material here on the handles. So when you're using it, it really feels nice and like comfy to, to grip that. Um, and it's really good for people with big hands. Unfortunately, I do not have big hands. So when I'm holding this thing, it just feels like big, big handles. It's not super, super comfortable. Here, I'll show you really quick how hard it is to get on a Switch with skins on it. And again, this is the original. Oh my god, I hate it so much. This is the original 
satisfy grip. So not the updated one. I believe the updated one is a little bit smaller, so it's supposed to fit smaller hands. I really wanted the upgraded one as they came out with it like a couple months after I purchased this one. Pissed me off, but whatever. I couldn't afford the upgraded one because of course Satisfy Grip is a lot more expensive. You can check online for price comparisons. I'm not exactly sure what this costs by itself. I can't remember, but the whole bundle costed me with shipping, like I said, about $80 Canadian. That was with the case and the grip itself. Here you can see my thumb sits nice and comfortably on the right joystick but my biggest gripe with this is because it's so big i can't actually reach the plus button like i can just reach x and y but i can't reach the plus button so i always have to shift my hand up and that really dampens my gameplay and also if you are worried about the kickstand thing this is the only angle that the satisfied grip can go at that is it pretty much 90 degrees, no other options, where this one has that nice adjustable grip, so that's really cool. And of course, this doesn't have any extra game holder spots or anything like that, so you lose that and the, the proper stand. And because this case is so incredibly tight, um, it will definitely damage your skins over time, not only on the front, but also in the back. I do have a like permanent wrinkle on my skin here, from the satisfied grip sitting on the back of it that is unfortunate but i mean at least it's a skin and not my switch right <laughs> also i believe the new updated one has more um rubber stoppers to keep it so it's not really touching any of the sides anymore where this one is like flush against the back so if you are worried about scraping the original one might not be for you although i don't even think they sell this anymore technically they both do a little damage on the switch skins themselves so that sucks a little bit. And the fact that I can't reach the buttons properly on the Satisfy Grip really is a big win for this one because I can reach everything perfectly on this grip. And again, the price point is just so much better that it's almost a no-brainer for me. <laughs> but the Satisfy Grip does have cases where you can actually purchase these cases that fit this many games also fits the switch and the grip in it like this. The thing I don't like about the case is that it does not fit a power, like the power brick. So unfortunately you either have to carry that in a different case. It is supposed to hold power banks down here below the grip itself. I don't use power banks. So I managed to fit the power brick in here. It does not fit well. I don't recommend doing it because it might put pressure on the case in your Switch internally, but I don't like not having my power brick with me, and if I have to, I'm gonna make it fit, so I do. Just in case you are interested though, this guy does sort of fit in here, okay? So it doesn't fit perfectly, but if I slip the Switch on in here, close it all up like that, put this in here, it does fit okay. So you can still close the case perfectly fine. There might be a little stretch because I do have a lot of stuff in here right now, but you can fit it in here. So let's say you do have the old Satisfy Grip and you kind of want a bit of an upgrade because let's say this one wasn't working for you as the same for me and you did have the case, you can actually still use the case for this grip. It does not fit perfectly, so keep that in mind and you won't be able to fit the power brick underneath it because this is thicker than the Satisfy one is. So you're not going to have as much space to fit that power brick in there. So definitely don't recommend trying to do that. And I did forget to mention one thing I do actually prefer about the Satisfy Grip that I wish this one had is the back here isn't as thick as the Satisfy Grip is right here. So as you can see, this is nice and chunky right here. So when I'm playing, I like to set my index fingers on that thick spot on the Satisfy Grip, and it feels really nice to rest them here. But on this grip, as you can see, there isn't really as much space, so I, it's not very comfortable to set my index fingers on the space back here, and I find myself placing my index fingers up here. I don't know why, because when I'm not using shoulder buttons, they just always end up there. <laughs> it's super odd, but that's kind of what happens for me. And I do really love these like rubberized handles. So if this company is listening, <laughs> which they might not be, which is fine, um, 
I do say if you guys make another one of these or you decide to upgrade it in the future, maybe think about putting kind of rubberized grips on the handles here to get that extra bit of grippy feel and potentially making this part a little thicker to, you know, have a good finger rest. And then also, it'd be really awesome if they could make a matching case for the switch that could hold the switch in there with this because as of right now they don't have one but I would love to see that from them as I really do like this grip and if I could get a matching case that has at least this many game holders if not more and holds has enough space up here to hold the power brick that would be the perfect combination so if you are listening, please do that. That would be amazing. I definitely recommend this guy if you are interested in a grip that is at a way more affordable price than the Satisfy grip. Check out the Oivo upgraded adjustable stand Nintendo Switch Pro grip. I, at the moment, can't seem to find the thumb grips for this. I think I misplaced them in my room somewhere. I'll find them. They're pretty simple. Um, I would say they're not my favorite. I prefer more tactile and, like, grippy thumb grips, something with a little more texture, and both of them are actually quite smooth. I'm not a big fan of the thick ones anyways, but both of them are very smooth, so I find that my fingers slide a little more than I would like. The Satisfy Grip ones are a little more grippy in the sense that my thumb doesn't slide as much, so I do prefer these, but at the same time, because of the, the make of the original Satisfy Thumb Grips, I do not like them. They tend to actually prevent your thumbstick from getting a full range of motion and I remember like playing in Animal Crossing I couldn't run properly I would have to push so hard just to get my character to actually run so not a big fan of the thick ones um I'm currently just using these little paw print ones because they don't mess up my range of motion and they're extra rubbery and extra grippy so my fingers do not slip and I love them, but this isn't a review about them. So I hope that helped you guys in some sense just to get an idea of what this switch grip is like. Like, subscribe, follow my social media that I'll link in the description below. Do all of that. Have fun with it. Give me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of this grip, if you think you'll pick it up or not. And I will also link my affiliate links through CD Japan and Tokyo Taco Mode. If you purchase anything through those links, I get a small commission. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It helps. Every little bit helps, especially right now. Oh my god. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to share this one with you and let you know that it's out there and it exists as a more affordable option to this Satisfy Grip while still getting the asymmetrical design. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!